Hello everybody, Mark Pierce, StarTech Marketing. Just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough, a video introduction only to, to the free version of SpyBot. Very powerful tool. It's this version, it's Search and Destroy, by the way, 2.2. This is the uh, introductory screen when you open it up. Just make sure that on the right hand side you see Internet Protection Full. This is checked along with the software is up to date. Now, one of the most important things to do, I accidentally click that link, is to make sure that your software is up to date and this is what it looks like now if you just clicked on this over here this is what I this is what I do and I want to make sure that you understand that it does not automatically update it with the free version so it is running it again making sure it's okay make sure it shows the last update and the signatures have been updated uh, and a timestamp of uh, the time that you've actually done it now what I like to do is click this update again because what happens is you think you got an update and you didn't so be careful with that okay then once your uh, SpyBot free edition has been updated you have a couple options I would start with just a uh, system scan now you do have a file scan and a folder scan uh, that you can do as well so here is the uh, window that we want to focus on right now now last scan it tells me it was one day ago um, of course you have your standard menu tasks here associated tasks online and of course help now on the right side is where your main uh, menus are you have uh, the type of scans I would just go uh, start a scan don't worry about uses tracks right now um, this actually will do it all automatically to tracking cookies excuse me um, which is important and don't worry about this get antivirus you should have your own if you don't let me know I'll give you some references for some free software so let's go ahead and start the scan now what it does it automatically says hey we'll clean up these folders is that okay first um, they've located 321 uh, temporary folders or files that need to be cleaned up I'd recommend go ahead and let this get, let this happen it's, it's safe and now once that's done what it's going to do it's going to open up this next window and it'll actually show your uh, right here that your scan is in progress now I'm not going to stand by why it scans my whole computer but I wanted to just basically show you how to get that the, the basic stan, uh, scan started so you can start protecting your system from spyware part two of our uh, scan with spybot search and destroy 2.2 now you'll see here under the progress section that is green that the scan took 23 minutes and the anti-spyware scan found 17 results now the next step is go down here where it says show details click on this show details down here at the right hand bottom corner and it opens up this view which is basically uh, what it has found so what's nice about this is at least you can go through the uh, description here find out you know who the offenders are this is your registry key location be careful with that the threat level which is relatively uh, these are all relatively low and the uh, the type this is uh, a registry change here if you notice as we look through the list and uh, different types this is a registry key and then and then I like the idea that it shows the category uh, in, the, in this case the top one here that we're looking at uh, appears to be um, a um, an adware where this is uh, an adware C and then tracks further down let's go ahead and scroll down and look at this uh, and then we also down here under cookie um, also it categorizes this is Internet Explorer which I don't use uh, MS uh, 3d and uh, the dire direct input here and then Windows drivers and you can see there's nothing relatively dangerous on my system but it'd be nice to uh, figure out uh, you know what I could do to, to remedy the situation so this one here is uh, for cash and that one is for history okay so now the next step I would say is uh, fix selected because they all look relatively safe to remove it doesn't look like it's gonna hurt my system any I'll go ahead and at the right hand bottom click on fix selected 
Um, then it says here, continue cleaning as an administrator, um, which is good. It says not all items you selected for cleaning could be removed. Uh, for some of those items, you might need administrator privileges to, to remove them. So in this case, uh, I feel comfortable with uh, removing them where make sure that you also feel comfortable. Never remove anything or registry keys uh, that you're unaware of or not sure of because it can definitely crash your operating system and uh, StarTech Marketing will not be held liable for that because this is uh, under your charge, okay? So let's click on the yes and it gives me uh, the next uh, screen and then it takes care of that. So um, there we are. So the next screen pops open and shows that everything has been cleaned successfully. So Mark Pierce, StarTech Marketing.